Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a buggy Microsoft patch day. Last week, Microsoft released a bunch of patches, which I talked about in a video, but on Monday, they had to release a bunch of updates to those patches to fix at least four different vulnerabilities. Without going into all the details, if you installed any of the Windows patches, you probably are suffering from at least three bugs that these patches might bring. So you definitely want to go and get the latest patches to fix all those vulnerabilities. Some of them also affect the server version of Windows, so hopefully they didn't affect any sort of production server you might use. In any case, I'll put a link to a great article that talks about the bugs these fix and which patches you should go get on the blog post associated with this video. Long story short, go back and look at Microsoft's latest updates. The other thing is I don't give this tip every single time that there's a Microsoft patch day, but as administrators should know, you should always test patches before deploying them. At least test the patches for your production servers. Personally, I think it's okay to just automatically push patches to desktops. Sometimes they have bugs, but they don't tend to affect individual users that much. That said, your production servers, which are critical, are a pretty big deal. You don't want to apply a patch that breaks something to a production server. So I recommend you have a virtual version of all your production servers and that you always test your patches quickly on those servers before deploying them within your network. Anyways, just a quick update for Microsoft Patch Day. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.